Sporting News ranked the FBS coaches from 1 to 130, and now it's time to take a closer look at the Big 12 Conference heading into the 2018 college football season. The Big 12 is the only Power 5 conference without a coaching change in the offseason. All 10 coaches are back from last year, and the toughest decision is where to put Oklahoma's Lincoln Riley, who led the Sooners to a Big 12 championship and college football playoff berth in his first season replacing Bob Stoops. There is a mix of young and old in this conference, and it's not easy to stack up. More, SN's full coach rankings with that in mind, here is how we ranked the Big 12 coaches from 1 to 10 10. David Beattie, Kansas overall, 119 record, 2 to 22 low down, the Jayhawks have won one Big 12 game over the last three seasons. It might be a basketball school, but there has to be some amount of incremental progress in a conference where it has been done before. A September 16 home game against Rutgers will be a telling barometer for Beta's fourth season in Lawrence, 9. Matt Rule, Baylor overall, 64 record, 29-34, 1-11 at Baylor, low down, we are not folding on Rule yet, given the reclamation project he inherited at Baylor, but last year's 1-11 record is an indication he must build this from the ground up. The fact the Indianapolis Colts were interested in rule in the last coaching cycle shows his caliber as a coach. Results must follow that reputation, however. 8. Cliff Kingsbury, Texas Tech overall, 63 record, 30-33 low down. The pressure is starting to mount on Kingsbury, who hasn't finished higher than 5th in the Big 12 over the last five seasons. Texas Tech did beat Texas to slip into a bowl game last year, but given the names ahead of him on this list, it will be a struggle to climb into that top four. 7. Matt Campbell, Iowa State overall, 34 record, 46-29, 11-14 at Iowa State, low down, Campbell put Iowa State on the map with victories against top five opponents Oklahoma and TCU last season, but the Cyclones dropped three of their last four regular season games. The challenge now is to develop more consistency across the board. Campbell is a high-energy coach with a bright future, and it speaks to the coaching depth in the conference that's he's seventh on this list. More, SN's post-spring top 25-6. Dana Holgerson, West Virginia overall, 31 record, 46-31 low down. Holgerson is in the same overall spot as last season, which seems fair considering the Mountaineers took a step back with a 7-6 season in 2017. He does, however, bring back an exciting team led by quarterback Will Greer, one good enough to win the conference. It's on Holgerson to make that breakthrough happen in 2018. 5. Tom Herman, Texas overall, 22 record, 29-10, 7-6 at Texas, low down, Herman led the Longhorns to a 7-6 record and a bowl victory in his first season, a modest move in the right direction for a program with great expectations for the future. Herman has lived up to the hype on the recruiting trail, and that could be the difference in those close games down the line. Texas had 4-1 score losses last season. Texas is closer to contention than some critics think, 4. Bill Snyder, Kansas State overall, 20 record, 210 to 110 low down, Snyder turned 79 in October, but he hasn't lost his touch with a program he has built through two separate stints. The Wildcats have made eight consecutive bowl appearances, including victories in the last two. That includes a winning record in the Big 12. More, 2018-19 Bowl Projections 3 Lincoln Riley, Oklahoma overall, 16 record, 12-2 low down. This ranking might anger some Oklahoma fans, given Riley displayed poise from the outset, which was proven in an early season victory at Ohio State in 2017. 
The 34-year-old coach is a brilliant play caller coming off a Big 12 championship and college football playoff appearance in his first season. We expect him to crack the top 10 soon enough, but he'll have to do so without Baker Mayfield at quarterback. 2. Mike Gundy, Oklahoma State overall, 15 record, 114-53 low down. Gundy enters his 14th season in Stillwater coming off a third 10-win season in four years. He has been a target for SEC coach openings in recent seasons, but he has stayed the course at his alma mater. There's an opportunity to take that next step but there is one nitpick for all his success. Gundy has led Oklahoma State to a 2-11 record against rival Oklahoma. 1. Gary Patterson, TCU overall, 8 record, 160-57 low down. Patterson led TCU to an 11-3 record in 2017, his 11th season with 10 or more wins across four conferences with the Horned Frogs. They're a trendy pick to win the Big 12 this season, too. Patterson is underappreciated, and it shouldn't take a playoff appearance to validate all his success. If he does lead TCU to the playoff, it will only shed light on just how great this run has been.